Now the second crystalline form, uh, form which we are going to study is the diamond. As you all are familiar with the diamonds and you know that uh, diamonds are girl's best friend. So we are going to start with that uh, allotrope that is diamond and we are going to learn that uh, you can say that what is the structure of the basic diamond and how we can obtain actually. So diamond you all know is the purest form of carbon and where it is found? It is found in deep mines and where in South Africa, Brazil, Russia and Australia. These countries are actually rich in the uh, diamond. So and we can also prepare artificially by how? By subjecting graphite to a very high temperature. So when we take graphite, we heat it in absence of air at very high temperature, it gets converted into diamond because but the diamond here obtained is in the form of very small crystals. And uh, what is the basic structure of the diamond? The diamond here, now you learn that uh, diamond and graphite both are uh, having a different structure. In each, in, in the graphite uh, diamond, each carbon atom is linked to four other carbon atoms like this, giving rise to a tetrahedral structure, giving rise to a tetrahedral structure. And moreover, the bonds which are formed, they are very strong bonds. These are very strong bonds. So each carbon atom linked to four other forming a tetrahedral structure. Now you got it that in graphite it was hexagonal, here it is tetrahedral and there the bonds were weak, it, it, it has a tendency to slip, slip also the layers. But here the bonds are very strong, no slipping, nothing, therefore the diamond is very hardest substance known. Now uh, looking on to the properties, it is colorless, transparent, hardest, brittle, density 3.5 gram per centimeter cube, bad conductor of heat and electricity and the reason uh, like uh, I think you got it because it is bad conductor because there are no such free electrons but uh, the graphite was good conductor so you can see they differ in the physical properties. This is what we want to learn here that allotropes have same chemical properties but different uh, chemical uh, physical properties due to difference in the arrangement. Now what is the use basically used in making jewelry you all know used in making uh, radiation proof windows in space satellites used for cutting and drilling rocks. So these are the uh, basic use but still it is used for many other purpose also. So this is what is the diamond. Coming on to the third crystalline form that is fulrin. Fulrin in, in fulrin actually many carbon atoms are arranged together forming a cage like structure which resemble just like a football you can say. The carbon atom can range up to uh, 200, 300 also there. And it is uh, because first it was uh, studied by Buck Minister Fulrin, therefore it is named behind its name that is the Fulrin. And if you look for the properties, we see that the Fulrin is colored, but the color of Fulrin allotrope actually depends upon the number of carbon atoms it contains. Moreover, it is soluble in the organic solvents and if we heat it above uh, temperature 1000 degrees Celsius or below 1000, it gets uh, the cage actually breaks and the carbon atoms start getting separating, Sep uh, they are separated. Used as an insulator and some uh, many cases it is used as a superconductor also. So this is what about the crystalline uh, allotropic form of the carbons where you can see that they are homogeneous with regular pattern and now we are going to study about the amorphous form where we will see that there is no such uh, regular pattern. So we are going to look on the amorphous form of the amorphous allotropes I must say that of carbon. So we are going to start that.